Hi folks, Gio Benedetti here from Artstart Headquarters. If you're watching this, it means you're going to help me paint some Petaluma Art Center fish. It's a little bit of a specialized project, so it gets its own little tutorial. A lot of the steps are the exact same, but we're going to go over some stuff just in case. You're going to get three colors, only three colors to paint the fish. All right, we're doing a slightly different design this time. So you've got your pink, uh, and your black, and your white. That's it. Some brushes. Oh, maybe you have brushes at home. Hopefully you do. If you don't, we'll send some brushes. One big one, and then the real important one, the line art one, okay? And then, of course, the stencil. You're going to get a stencil. It's going to have fish facing both sides. This is our bluegill stencil. It's going to have the stencil, and it should have some uh, transfer paper underneath it. You'll also get a bunch of strips of your polytab fabric. This is what you're actually going to paint on. The other things that you're going to need around your house, hopefully you have these, is a paper towel, just a little paper towel or a rag, some kind of cloth. You're going to be dipping paint and stuff on it, so it's got to be able to get dirty. And then a water container. And then a surface to paint on. That's all you need. All right, let's go paint a fish. Here we are. I've got my stencil. Got the transfer paper. Here's the polytab fabric. Here's the side that has the primer on it. You'll be able to tell if you look. I'm gonna try and conserve as much of the fabric as I can. So I'm gonna get it right to the edge of my fish here. And then set it in there. Make sure that I can get the whole fish on, and then I'm gonna stencil it. To stencil it, just a good old rolling ball pen. Thanks, Exchange Bank. Okay, just trace over the stencil outlines, just like they're on there. Put as much detail as you want, and check underneath to see if it's coming through. Now it's ready to paint. So I'm gonna take it off of the stencil board. I'm gonna put my stencil board away. And I'm gonna get my drawing painting surface ready, okay? I got room for a ton more fish on here, that's great. Time to gather your painting materials. I've got a really dirty palette here. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need my paints, my pink, my black, my white, my brushes, and a previously used but very serviceable, wonderful paper towel, and my little jug of water. Now I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna start with pink and our big brush and you're just gonna rough in everything. Feel free to go outside the lines. You're gonna cut it out so all those edges are gonna get clean during cutting. Then you're gonna get your liner brush and you're gonna go for your black. When you're using the black, make sure you're using enough water to get it to flow like ink or it's not gonna work out. You want it to be pretty light. Same thing with your whites. When you go back in with your highlights, you're gonna need to watch your consistency in order to get the paint to flow the way you want. Now we're gonna cut it out. Boop, boop. My only tips for cutting is go for the big shapes first and then come in with your details slowly. Those fins can be real tricky and you just wanna take your time so you don't snip off something that you liked. When you're inking, make those outside edges real thick with the black and it makes the cutting way easier with a big thick black outline to cut on. Ta-da! Now we've got a fish. And now we can go put it on the drain. So make as many of those as uh, hopefully I ask you for in the kit. And give a holler if there's any questions at all. Thanks. Take care.